You're watching Trevor Hutton's Deep Spear Fishing Journal with regular uploads and brand new content with your host Trevor Hutton. No holding back, just pure spear fishing action. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. This is open ocean diving. The surface conditions make it difficult to prepare for a deep dive. The standing current makes a pinpoint drop nearly impossible and the limited visibility coupled with the malignant spectre of big sharks makes it downright intimidating. The dive plan for this day was to see if I could spear a tropical amberjack off the top of the pinnacle and pull it back to the surface before the taxman got it. Most of my mental resources on these dives are tied up in dealing with the outright fear of being eaten. The rest are used to prevent drowning. After an excruciatingly long descent with my heart pounding, I'm suddenly surrounded by more amberjacks than I have ever seen together at any one time. I fire quickly because I just want to get the hell out of here. I put in a very good holding shot. Now it is game on. I know that if the fish reaches the pinnacle, it will try to rub the spear out against the rocks. So I have to keep a lot of drag on the fish while swimming the 45 meters back to the surface. This is a real study in monitoring resources to prevent blackout. I have to kick like a mule to keep the fish off the reef. I'm anxious to land the fish quickly, as I know the sharks will have it if I do not get it up quickly enough. If you look carefully, you will see them attacking the amberjack. Unfortunately, they managed to take this one. Back on the surface, all I want to do is go home and call it a day. But Ryan Burmey convinces me to try again. So, 20 minutes later, I go back down for a second dive. Once again, I land a very good holding shot. This time, I really crank the fish back to the surface. I know that to land a fish here, I will have to get it into shallower water as soon as possible, where Owen can protect it from the sharks. When I break surface, I send the Owen down to place a second shot. Just as well, because the sharks are closing in for the second time. 
This is probably the toughest fishing I've ever done where I actually get to land the quarry. I'm thinking of going back next year, but maybe the memory is already enough.